So you just bind the Season 3's Battle Pass and you're wanting to unlock all the awesome stuff that comes with it. But there are 100 tiers, it takes a long time. Well in this video I'm going to show you exactly how to grind through that Battle Pass to get all the good stuff as soon as possible. So if you like this type of videos make sure you tap that like button as it is the best way to help out the video within the all famous YouTube algorithm. And if you're new to the channel make sure you tap subscribe because 58% of you are not subscribed who viewed this channel. And we do Halo related things on this channel every single day and we're going in when it comes to Season 3 and beyond. So obviously we know the main way to gain XP is through challenges and completing matches, but not all playlists are treated equally. Now the match XP beta, well still I guess technically is in beta because nothing really changed from it, but you can see right here the different XP dealings when it comes to how you perform in a match, what matches you perform. For example, arena matches you get 150, BTB matches you get 250 because they normally run a little bit longer. The featured match playlist gets 200 XP, and if you're playing free for all whenever it's in rotation, first place gets 150, 100, then 50 down below, third and below. Plus you get additional XP for winning the game, that's 50 XP, and match MVP being the best player in the lobby, you get an extra 50 XP, and also top 50% of your team, you get an additional 50 XP. But there's a good amount of variety when it comes to playing Halo, right? You're not always gonna be the MVP, you're not always gonna be winning matches. So, so what's the general flow of XP gains within Halo? Well, I tested that out. Now I ran some control games here, where I kept track of the minutes and XP earned per match, averaged out the two numbers, and that's the kind of general stat we'll get. Now I'm a rather average player, maybe slightly above average, so I might be a good test subject when it comes to general XP gains. So I tested Team Slayer, Big Team Battle, Fiesta, and Tactical Slayer. The reason why I did Tactical Slayer is because those matches tend to run a bit faster, so I thought it'd be a much better way to gain XP. Well. Not exactly. And you can see right here for Team Slayer, average game time was about 9.3 minutes, giving me about 230 XP per time, meaning I'm getting about 24 XP per match, roughly around 25. The big team battle and Fiesta kind of equaled about the same of XP per minute. But Tactical Slayer XP per minute because the matches run faster is higher. We also did a featured version as well. So you get actual higher amounts of XP for playing your featured match. And you can see that featured for your regular 4v4 arena modes is definitely the way to go when it comes to playing XP. If you don't want to play the feature mode, Tactical Slayer might be a good choice, but there's a sleeper mode as well. And that mode is Bot Bootcamp. Now your XP earned for playing a match at Bot Bootcamp is kind of low at 50, but the match times are where it's really nice. So I decided to jump into Halo Tracker here. There's a really great website to keep track of all your stats and all the other kinds of you want to look at right here. So I recently just played a match of Slayer to kind of see like what the experience is. And the runtime was about five and a half minutes. Not that much faster. We also played on Cliffhanger, so the match is a little bit larger, but it's a guaranteed win pretty much every time you're playing these matches. And if you're halfway decent, you can probably finish top 50% to get extra XP, but the real magic is on objective modes. These go incredibly fast. You can see previously we played a King of the Hill match and it was three minutes and 30 seconds. Oddball on streets, five and a half minutes. Capture the flag was one minute and 55 seconds. So while the XP gains are not the best in bot boot camp, you're going through matches so much faster. You're getting right back in. Plus there's not really need for like MMR matchmaking. So if you're in lower populated areas, this would be a great way for you to grind out the battle pass and rank up fast. So the summary of the whole thing though, I would still focus on doing your challenges when it comes to the initial week of playing Halo Infinite. If you have to play the feature playlist, then I probably would play that as you get a little bit extra XP per match and plus it probably most likely help you when it comes to your challenges that week. But if you're done with all your challenges and you're just gonna hop on and play, but you wanna grind specifically for the battle pass, Bot Bootcamp is your way to go. Now, if you want to see some more analytical videos on the channel here, like we just posted about the Bandit Rifle versus the Bandit Rifle and why people wanna see the Bandit Rifle starts, check out this video right here. Thank you much for watching, catch you all in the next one. Peace out.